everyone, welcome back, Dev Tier. So I'm having to voice this over. I had some issues with my drivers fighting each other. I'll go over that later on in the video again. But as you can see right there on the left of the priest, as you're facing the back wall, there is a switch. You need to press that switch to open a secret tunnel. So we'll go back and do that in just a second. So right here, there's a little bitty tiny button. You want to hit that switch. You'll see that door open. It leads to the priest's quarters. So we're going to go in there and loot this. It's going to give us the key to the ice cave so that we're able to go get ice. So you're going to need to make sure that you have at least one lockpick with you. I advise two because there's two locked chests in here. And then we're just looting in here, getting some of the stuff. Here you can see that we're getting rawhide, some of the cotton, and some other materials that we need for later on for making some more armor. Then we have the locked chest on the right side right here in the corner. We're going to go ahead and open that. Inside this chest, we've got some coins and the key for the ice cave. The ice cave, again, is located in the birch grove behind our house where we're building it. So then we're going to go ahead and open this one too. And then inside here we're going to find some potions and some more coins. So Alright guys, from here we're going to leave the house, which is located inside the birch grove, which is where we're currently at right now. And we'll just follow this to that door that we found back in like episode 1 or 2. It's back here on the corner of the mountain. So if you go, like you're toward, headed towards the big forest, but you make a left and just go all the way to the corner in the direction we're currently heading, you'll find this door. It'll be locked until you get the key from the church. You can see it right there in front of us. So inside of here is the ice cave. There's going to be about five of the were rats. There is a lockbox that we find later on in the episode. It's in the very bottom. You'll have to mine the ice to get to it because it's under one of the blocks. So then you're going to ease down here. Again, you're going to find two were rats right here at the front of the entrance of the cave. We got to knock them out really quick. Then we're going to make our way down farther into the cave, still searching for ice. So I'm going to hit everything on the way down because I don't know what the ice is just yet. Now these white nodes right here, those are the ice ones that can break. So you just mine them like you would any type of other ore. And then you can fight your way through the were rats. The cave's not very big and the were rats aren't that strong, at least not in my opinion. Or the mutated rats, I guess. I don't know why I keep calling them were rats, but the mutated rats aren't that strong. So guys, that's the ice cave and how you get access to it. So I'll pick back up like a fresh episode almost uh, at the next part of the cut of this video. Sorry for the voiceover. I'm trying to fix my driver issues. I'm not sure why every time I do an update to my graphics card, it shuts off my microphone. But <laughs> y'all just bear with me. Sorry about that. Hey everyone, welcome back. Def Spider here. So we're going to get right to it today on this episode. So we're over here hanging out with Pierre. There's a gate over here that we're about to open and go through. I know it's a little bit dark right now. I guess I'll get my torch out. So we just went through the ice cave a minute ago. I'm going to put that video on the front of this. Probably going to have to voice that one over just because there seemed to have been some recording issues again between my drivers wanting to fight over who gets the microphone. But anyways, this is the gate we're going to go through. So to repair this gate, it's going to be 10 cement, 5 simple iron parts, 5 copper pickaxe heads, and 20 times brick. We already have all that on us. In case I can't get the other video to work right, we did go ahead and equip our brand new gear. So as you can see here, Peasants, Casual Chamise, Casual Breaches, and the Boots. So we're in the Tier 3 stuff. And we have the small leather bag of the backpack on. So that was a plus 100 max weight and plus 12 slots instead of just plus 6 slots. Weapon-wise, we're still using the Arrow Sword because come to find out, the Arrow Sword seems to be the best sword in the game so far. We do have the new short bow we're using that does a ton of damage. We also made an Iron Spear so we can quit using a Primitive Kit to repair our, our old spear. Uh, besides that, nothing else has changed. So we're just waiting for the light to come up so I can make this recording look nice. And as you can see, the sun's slowly cresting. So let's go ahead and rebuild this door. All right, guys, and it's time to go inside of here and see what we can get into. It looks a little bit dark. So we're still missing certain materials. So we do have ice now, but we're missing things like sulfur. Just to make arsenic, to make the wood that we need to make. So let's go in here, find out what's going on on this side of the map. I have no idea. Never been over here. So it's like it's going to be... a a swampy area maybe so this is the damned place <laughs> oh god it sounds oh wait we're, t oh, we're taking poison well that can't be good so i guess i'm gonna probably have to go make a potion that'll keep us alive and poison because i don't know if Montanus salus will do oh wait we're gonna we're gonna die this right i don't know if Montanus salus will do it all right let me try to outlive this poison damage we just took and i'm gonna run back and see that we can make a poison resist potion maybe okay well it took a minute for me to figure out what to do as you can see the light's already kind of going down again so we came back over to pierre talked to him so he gave us a new option to talk about right here so let's go ahead and activate that it says hello pierre open the door to the damn place but it's full of toxic gas did anyone pass through that door without dying then he tells 
tells us to go ask Gloria. Maybe she can help us come up with something about it. Go do that. I want to double check his goods. He's still just selling lockpicks for 300 gold. So let's head over to Gloria's really quick. All right, everybody, we made it to Gloria. Let's see what we need to do for her. You're asking the question right here. I opened the door, but the place is full of toxic gas. I want to visit that place. I was wondering if you could help me with it. She can give us a blueprint of a safety mask. All right, we have to go find some, what she called it, Merlinder gems for the mayor's wife. Then she just gave us a map of where to find them. So there's an underwater cave. Ah, so it's right here. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. I keep saying I've swam everywhere in this game, but I guess I did not swim there. So let's go to this cave. So we're over here at the edge of the river next to the mayor's house in the first house when you enter the village. Let me go ahead and grab some water. Then we're going to go ahead and dive in here and see if the entrance is underwater like she says. Looks like there's a bird's nest over here too. So I guess I haven't swam the whole river. I need Maybe I need to do that or I would have found this previously. So here's the cave. Let's see if we can get all the way down and around. You hold down shift like you're running, you can swim faster, so we're going to do that. It's left control to dive. If we can't get somewhere before our oxygen runs out. I have increased stamina, but uh, it's still going to be looking like it's going to be a little bit close. I'm not sure if we use up hit points if we start running out of oxygen or not. Alright, so here's our, some blue crystals and the underwater cave. Looks like we also have a chest right here. Go and see if we can get to the locked chest. Get three copper ingots, three iron ingots, five pieces of iron ore, 457 coins, and a golden spoon. And let's go ahead and break down these crystals. Now these give really good experience. All right, so now that the crystals, we need to go back to Gloria. So let's see if we can survive this swim. So if you use two, two fingers at once, you can swim and dive at the same time while doing your sprint run so you can get through quicker. Face bar to come up in the water. And then let's see what Gloria wants us to do now. So she gave us a thousand coins in the blueprint. Let's go ahead and learn it, see what we need to make it. It's gonna add itself to the tailor's bench. We have 30 Merlinder gems left. And we're back over here at our tailor's bench. So to make the safety mask, got armor plus two on it. We're going to need three pieces of rawhide, one piece of cotton fabric, four of the threads, three pieces of, what is that, cotton wool, and two pieces of coal. And I'm not sure how to make cotton wool, but I know we can buy some here. We already have two pieces. So let's go ahead and talk to Stephania. See if we can afford to buy one of her cotton wools. It's 520 gold. So we're gonna buy one to add to the other two that we already have. I checked Gloria, she didn't have the recipe for this. I don't think, I don't remember anybody else having that either. So maybe we'll find it at somewhere else in the game. And with everything together now, let's go ahead and craft the mask itself. And we made it back over here to this new area that we unlocked. Let's go ahead and go here and see if the mask is gonna work out for us. We are gonna be running low on light. So hopefully we can get in and out of here really, really fast. So now we're not taking any poison damage. Looks like a new plant right here. Let's see what we have. We have the morning glory flower. Let's see skulls on the ground. This looks like a pretty ominous place so far. So I don't know how big it's going to be or how long it'll take us to explore it. But I guess we'll just come in here and hug the right wall for now. And we're going to grab all these morning glories that we can. I'm assuming we'll need them at some point. Let's see, we have a small flower here. This is going to be a Saint Veronica flower. Another morning glory. Let's see, what is this? A bunch of coins laying on the ground right here. Let's see, this. there we go. Another one of the small flowers. And then let's get into this chest. Then we have a golden spoon, golden flat plate, copper cup, simple blade, sulfur ore, and 275 coins. We have some animals in front of us. Looks like spiders. Only 19 damage with our new bow. 
I'm gonna go ahead and assume these things were poisonous. Right, 500 experience, no poison, so that's good. Should be able to get silk off these based off of one of the recipes Gloria sells. They gave us a sting and spider silk. more spiders out in the center. We're going to keep walking around the edge first. Okay, looks like we have like a cave right here maybe. And then there's a locked chest in here and some more of the flowers. Inside here we have the blueprint for high strength glass, a lock pick, seven iron arrows, 100 gold coins. Looks like we can find bones laying around these corpses and stuff. Two more spiders. These guys are getting a bunch of experience points too. And we're taking a ton of damage. Let's get our bandages out. We can use some of those for now. You can only imagine what they're doing to our gear. <laughs> we definitely need to keep an eye on our gear because look at our safety mask. It's already halfway broken. So we probably should have built an extra one. This looks like it would probably be a sulfur rock. Let's knock it open and see what we get. There's some sulfur. And let's go inside this big cave. We're still hugging the right wall, making our way around, seeing if we can find anything. I'm hoping we find less and less spiders because our gear can't take it. What is that? Oh. Komodo dragon. Again, these guys are doing tons of damage. Now, of course, I didn't bring any repair equipment for our gear, so it's going to be rough. So reptile skin on there and a carcass large. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, we're not doing great. And so this cave system on this side is quite large. We're definitely probably going to have to go back and build repair kits to bring back to this zone with us. Yeah, there's three or four different paths in this cave leading to different areas. Our mask is only able to take a few more hits. Let's go ahead and pop a save in case we get stuck in a room with something. Really tight quarters in here again. And another spider, of course, that we can't snipe, so it's gonna be might be enough to finish our mask off.
and bandage back up. And we have a Komodo dragon. Don't think we're gonna be able to get away from him. And the spider yet. And we just got poisoned. So we're probably gonna die right here. That's so I'm just gonna res uh, not respawn, I'm gonna reload the game from our last save. Well guys, I'm gonna grab some sulfur and then head back to base and see if I can't get some equipment repair kits put together and then bring back a bunch of healing potions on top of that. So I'll see you once I get done rebuilding everything and setting things back up so we can try to come over here and survive because obviously we're gonna need a bunch of potions and repair kits to handle all these monsters since they're so much stronger. Well everyone, we made it back to base. On the way out, I did find out that and noticed that our safety mask takes damage over time while we're breathing in the poisonous gases. So we're definitely gonna need a bunch of repair kits. Let's go ahead and research those new flowers that we found and see if they won't teach us something you. All right, so this one's queued up as learning something for us. All right, then let's try to queue up one of the morning glories. Now let's go ahead and learn our new recipes. So we have the reinforced glass, or high strength glass rather. Then we just learned Veronica's not dead, and then we'll do five. This is going to be the morning glory recipe. Light as a feather. The light of a feather just gives us max weight plus 50. Veronica's not dead gives us healing potion over time plus 20 hit points. So I feel like we're going to have to get into the vials and start trying to make a bunch of potions. I think that's going to be the only way to get through that area because it's really, really strong. And then we also need to go over to the tailor's bench and we need to make equipment, advanced equipment repair kit. I'm assuming is what it's going to take. So let's go ahead and make some rawhide and stuff and see if that will repair the safety mask. I'm assuming it's a higher level piece of equipment. Then with the sulfur ore that we brought back, we can craft that on our alchemy bench. That'll make more sulfur and more arsenic. So we can turn that on and we'll queue that up. Well, it'll finish once this alone finishes making, which we're going to need a bunch of that to make a bunch of rawhide to make the repair kits. So this is going to give us sulfur and sulfuric acid, or arsenic rather. So I've got a primitive repair kit and then three advanced equipment repair kits. I'm going to try the primitive, see if it'll repair the mask. Maybe we can do that cheaply. It does repair the mask, so we'll just have to make some of those. I'm sure the advanced equipment repair kit will probably do the same thing. Let's see. Nope, it does not work on it, so we need primitive repair equipment repair kits for that, so that's pretty cheap to keep it alive. But from here, I'm going to do a bunch of crafting really quick and get a bunch of potions and stuff put together, which means I'm going to have to probably go make some more money so we can get the proper items put into our kiln. Then do some farming, get the vials to work, get them full of water, so we might end this episode just by working on potion making for now. I didn't realize that area was going to be so intense, so I'll see you guys in just a minute once I get done with all this. And we're in the bottom of the ice cave. I came back to get some ice because I built a medium cooling box. And while getting ice, I found in the very bottom of it, like I said, once we broke this ice, there's a locked chest under it. So let's go ahead and see what's in it. 215 coins and the blueprint for soda. That's going to go into the alchemist bench. Uh, from here, we're going to head back and store the ice on the cooling box, see if it's even worth doing. Like I said, I haven't used it yet, so we just built it, find out if it's any good. So I'll see you guys once we get back to base. We're still crafting and building up. I'm actually going to increase our gear to the next level. I went through, went ahead and saved up 24,000 gold, bought the last two armor sets from Gloria, and then took a look at all those, and I'm going to build the best three defensive pieces, because their stats vary from being, like, weight-wise and defense-wise. So I'm going to go with pure defense for when we go back into the poison zone. Then we're going to get a bunch of materials put together, get some repair kits made. The primitive repair kit will take care of the safety mask, so that's nice. All the armor I've built so far can actually be fixed with primitive kits, assuming that the newest one that we're about to make is going to take the advanced kit. Unless we find some new recipes soon. So once I get back over there, guys, I'll see you in just a minute. So we're back at the church. When we turned in the candles to Pastor Gregory, he only gave us 500 gold for that quest. But it then opened up his inventory where we can buy stuff from him. So we can buy the blueprint for the winery from him for 5,000 gold. So we're going to do that now. We can also buy the blueprint for wine. I think we already have that one. We can buy the blueprint for grog and a blueprint for rum. I guess we can buy this one over here just to make sure we have it, even though it's 3,000 gold. So that should be everything we need there. We also went ahead and bought the blueprint for glass sand, the simple vial mold. I had best up and bought two of the simple vials. And then we also had the iron chest now. So we need to learn all these and get this stuff built out and just on the quest to get to where we can safely get that one new zone and clear it. So the new gear is finished being built. We've leveled up and increased our defense by saving up our skill points and increasing it into that skill level. So we're currently sitting at level 41. Uh, we put went ahead and put another point to Invincible. Our sword is also maxed out until 45, so it's at 40% uh, increased damage in close combat. I haven't had enough points to touch our actual attribute skills yet, so we're still sitting 10, 10, 5 here. But we've bought all the goods that Gloria has to sell, all the ones from Pastor Gregory, all the fishing gear, all the blacksmith gear, everything from Joshua. We still need to get the more advanced building blueprints from Eugene. We went ahead and bought all the stuff from the herbalist guy, the florist. 
we have all the meat stuff from Sebastian and then we bought everything from Adriano that does, he does all the build work stuff or the grinding wheel whatever it's called so pretty much we're ready to head back into that zone once we get some repair parts and things made up so I'm going to work on that for a minute and then I'll see you guys in a little bit we did go ahead and build the cooling crate it's inside in the little kitchen area we built a compost bin here so we can make fertilizer I can't remember, oh yeah, I was waiting on the lime carbonate to finish. We're gonna need that for our garden beds. So I've been working towards that. Got a hundred lime carbonates, grab that, and set that in here. And we should just be able to hit max craft and it should free up enough space. Or not. <laughs> we'll take some of that meat out of there. And it's gonna start cooking up fertilizer. So it's gonna use uh, spoiled meat, lime carbonate, fibers, ash to end regular empty sacks to make the fertilizer. We also made an advanced torch here so we can actually see at night. So we don't have to use our own little torch. It adds a little bit of light, not much. And then we have our cooling crate here, which we've been using ice to keep our meat up just so we could sell the meat. I still need to find another use for the fat. Like, fat's made for candles. I did make a bunch of candles. I meant to try to see if they're worth selling or not. So I guess I could do that in just a second. As far as gear goes, the new gear we've made is the Town's Gray Akitan, Town's Gray Shoes, and the Town's Gray Breaches, and that's the best defensive stats that we can get. But from there, uh, we have, do have the new crafting stuff in here. So we have, like, the medium crop plot. It doesn't take anything too fancy except it needs mineral soil. Same thing with the small crop plot. We can also make iron arrows here if we need to. The constructor's workbench, again, this is where you're going to make your middle-sized cooling boxes and stuff. We still have to buy the recipes from Claudia. And then we have the small compost bin, which we already made. I don't think we need too many of those. And then we went ahead and built a wooden well. We put it out here next to the alchemy station. And you're going to have to use the small vials here, it looks like, or pretty much any vial, I guess, to get water in order to make the potions. So that's why I went ahead and got all these other recipes. So I'm going to go and learn all these. And then see if I can't put together some more healing potions and a couple extra other potions to like for weight because we need a ton of sulfur if we want to make that we want to make the treated plank wood. So guys, I'm gonna get all this stuff learned, get to crafting some more, and then I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, so we've got a bunch of stuff working right now. We've got the kiln going, making us a bunch of lime carbonate so we can start working on making some small vials. Uh, we went ahead and made a bunch of iron rivets. We have 25 iron ingots left over. We made five simple iron parts. We're just gonna put together one iron chest to see if the storage on it's pretty good. It says it has more than the wooden chest. I hadn't built the advanced wooden chest yet. I've only built these. So we're going to see how that one works out. We also have the winery now, so let's go and set it up. We're going to put it in the corner over here. Oh, because I don't think I have... I could have put it over here. Oh yeah, it'll still fit over here. So I couldn't find anybody that would buy the candles, but you can use these as lights. So you can place them around and they put off a little bit of a glow. I don't know if they burn out or not, so I just kind of threw them around the room. They don't have durability, they don't take any fuel, you just have to switch them on, so I'm hoping they work out nice. Hopefully that's not going to eat up my GPU space having these all turned on. So with the winery, we have the recipes in here for beer, wine, grog, rum. And this stuff sells really, really good, but we're going to need spices to make the beer. We're going to need vials of water, wheat, so we're going to start growing wheat. And we need big bottles, it looks like. It's going to produce three simple vials from the water it's going to use. And then you get one beer for all the other materials. The other one, we're going to make grape. Then we need lime suckers. So we have to buy a lot more recipes to make all this. <laughs> Because uh, we don't have those over here yet, as far as I can tell. Unless we just have to add them and then it makes it. Right, it sounds like our chest is done. Let's get it and check it out. So we're going to put the first one right here, just because I have so much crafting going on on this side of the room. So there's our new iron chest. Yep, it's got tons of slots. Much better than what we've been working off of. And then let's check out our new gear. Go ahead and put it on, since that we're going to be headed to that area next. Okay, so our maximum weight right now is at 345, which I think is the same that it was originally. But our armor and stuff should be higher, so we're at 36 armor now. And then there's our new gear. So from here guys, I'm going to put together everything that we need in order to keep our stuff repaired. So we're going to bring a lot of the primitive kits or at least the materials to make them so that we can keep putting our helmet hat back together because it's going to take damage over time from the poison since it's being, I guess, since it's being used the whole time. And so we'll get a bunch of those. I'll probably just, I don't know, fill up half my inventory or as much weight as we can carry with them and then see how far into the zone we can get this time. Plus I'm going to get a bunch of potions together. I think we already have a, quite a few ready to go. We can just take some of these that were already made that we found laying around. And then we'll probably bring a... I'd like to make a feather potion if we don't have one. It looks like we don't have any left. That's what we're going to do next. So we'll head over there in just a minute and get to work on that. Uh, based on the link of the video, we might actually call it here. Because I have been doing a lot of crafting and gathering. So I'm not sure exactly where we're at right now. 
on time so i'll check the time if we're done as always guys if you enjoyed that content be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you have any more advice for me like where the ice cave was and how to get to it or anything like that please let drop that in the line we're gonna start doing some fishing soon too i did go ahead and start building out a bunch of stuff for fishing i just haven't had time to get to that just yet and then we'll get into gardening and all that in a minute too i need to make some more gold so we can finish opening this place up but as always guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out and i'll see you on the next one